Hi, my name is Charlie Toronto. I'm a product manager here at Sitecore, and I wanted to talk a little bit about a new set of features that we've created for uh, TDS. So with the release of Sitecore 9.2, Sitecore has added uh, YAML serialization to the core product. Now, YAML serialization has been around for a long time, and it is a vastly superior way of storing Sitecore items over the original uh, Sitecore item file format. So I'll, I'll show you the original item file format so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. If we look at this item, this is the templates item. Uh, everybody's probably uh, seen this before, but essentially the way Sitecore manages uh, these things in the original item file format is with fields. So this is a field. The field has a couple of important things like the ID. Uh, the name isn't all that important for serialization, but this particular uh, property is, it's the content length. And that content length must exactly match the length of this. If it doesn't, the serialization processor rejects the item as an invalid uh, invalid item with invalid serialization format. Now, this was fine until we started putting things in source control, and then when we started to uh, use source control and uh, merge these things through branches or through the normal course of working on the, uh, the items, what we found was a lot of our users had problems with uh, making sure that the content length field was merged correctly with this field. So if, for example, the actual content was merged and the length wasn't, we constantly get these invalid items. Uh, in the past, we addressed that using uh, our own custom merge tool, um, but also there was another file format introduced uh, called uh, Rainbow. And Rainbow serialization uses YAML as the underlying format and did a bunch of things to reorganize the, form, the files, uh, but it also eliminated the content length field, which really made sorting out merges much, much simpler. So since Sitecore 9.2 has intro introduced YAML serialization to the core product, we are also introducing in TDS 6.0 YAML serialization to our product. So let's get started with converting our project from standard item serialization to YAML serialization. So I've, I've got here a uh, Habitat project, and I'm going to open up one of the TDS projects in here, and you can see how serialization change works. So it's very simple. You just change the serialization format from item to YAML, and then also I'll show you later on uh, changing the serialization format in Sitecore, how that's done as well. So if I change the serialization to YAML, you're presented with this dialog telling me you're changing the format and uh, TDS will automatically upgrade all of your items for you. The thing is that the extension changes, so that means that all of the .item files in your project will now be replaced with .yaml files, okay? Um, it's very important to note that the only way to undo this is using source control. So make sure you've got everything committed and you're ready to go before doing this. The other thing that's really super important is that everybody in your team is aware that this is gonna be happening and you schedule this particular activity, uh, say between sprints or just after a deployment, someplace where you've got a little bit of quiet time uh, where your team can all go and get the latest and make sure that they're all kind of in sync with this process. Okay, you don't just want to do it in the, you know, the middle of a big sprint or something like that. That probably wouldn't go well for you just due to the confusion introduced. So anyway, uh, I'm going to click yes to upgrade my uh, files to YAML. And here we can see that we're presented with a dialog which shows you all of the items in the project. Uh, there's 45 items in the project. And again, we tell you Sitecore TDS will upgrade the files above, once this is done, the files will be removed and replaced with YAML files. The only way to undo this is to revert the project in source control. It's really important that we're aware of this and uh, we know this going forward. So anyway, I'm going to click OK. And here we can see TDS has run through the conversion process and the project has been upgraded. 
So let's take a quick look at what that changed. So I'm going to open up the same template again. And here we can see the new format. Okay, it's got the same information in it, the ID, the path, the template, so on and so forth. Here's our shared fields, but you can see that each field has, for example, this was the, the field that we were looking at before, I believe. We've got the ID, uh, the editors, and uh, just the value. So you can see that this format is much easier for uh, doing things like merges and things like that because it's really very much line-based and doesn't have any of these uh, content length fields stuck in it. So we'll save this project. Now, given that we're using a Habitat solution, obviously going through and upgrading each and every one of these projects would be time consuming. So the recommended way to do this is to go into the global config and create a property group that doesn't have a condition on it because this is a global property and add the serialization format property to a property group that is not conditioned. And once I do that, I press save. And we can see we're going to be prompted with a dialog box to upgrade. So now we can see that all of our projects have been uh, upgraded. If we take a quick look at our changes, you can see there's been a lot of changes where things were settings YAML was added, settings item was removed, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of changes that happened here. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is upgrade Sitecore. Uh, for using YAML serialization. Okay, so here's my serialization config uh, file, that uh, a patch file for, for Sitecore. So here we've got a serialization settings. I'm going to update those settings and uh, save the file. It's important to note that this value here is case sensitive, so make sure you put it in lower case. Uh, so once we've updated the file, the YAML format that Sitecore uses uh, does a little bit better job of formatting the items and has a bunch of uh, interesting formatting rules that the conversion process doesn't take into consideration. So it's important that we sync everything with Sitecore and pull it all back down. So I'm going to click the sync process. It's going to run. One thing to note is during the upgrade, everything happened uh, offline. It didn't use Sitecore for anything to do the upgrade for the item files. So here we see everything is in sync, but I had lightning mode turned on. So I'm going to make sure I disable lightning mode here and hit refresh. And that should find things where we've got, say, multi-line fields. There was maybe a slight difference in the multi-line field. Uh, any place where there were XML, the YAML uh, formatter on Sitecore goes and expands those lines a little bit to make it easier to, to understand and easier to compare in a compare tool. So I'm going to pull all those changes over and um, make sure my project is updated. Save to updates. So now I've completed my uh, update and I'm just going to uh, refresh once more to verify that everything is uh, is correct. You know, one thing to note, it seems like uh, this was a fairly small change because we've pretty much just added a single drop down to TDS, but underneath the covers, there was a lot of things that changed for this because we had to touch every single piece of TDS that used item files and update those to uh, use both item old style item files and the new YAML format. Uh, this means that we hit reporting, we hit uh, all the validators, we hit all of the build processes, all of the uh, package generation for both update packages and the new web deploy packages, all the sync windows, everything uh, was touched and tested. So there's a lot of, a lot of new functionality in TDS, even though it's hiding behind a very small surface. So here we can see we're, our sync is completed and everything is uh, correct. So that's pretty much it. I've now converted this project over and it's ready to be committed to source control. And um, 
Yeah, it's ready to go for uh, for working in the YAML format. Thank you.